Hello, everyone. How are you? Hi. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm great. How about you, Armando? How Hello, are you? teacher. Uh -huh, Amanda, how are you? Not good, not good, teacher. Really? Why? Are you still sick? Yeah. Oh, God. Well, I'm really sorry. I hope you get better. Yeah. Okay. I, uh, huh? I have a terrible weekend. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, you're feeling under the weather. Yeah, that's so bad, but let's let's pray for you to get better okay so i Thank hope you, that you get better all I right but it, uh -huh. i am lost on the on the subject actually oh really well but it's good that you're in class so keep always um uh, your mind in classes when you are on it but congratulations to you that you're in here even though you are sick okay very good Thank you. Okay, excellent. Let's go with Noemi. How are you, Noemi? I'm fine, thank you. Excellent. It's true. I'm if, if I'm gonna have some problems. I got you, honey. I understand. <laughs> yeah, when it rains, the internet goes bad, goes wrong, goes low. It, low. And everything is worse. <laughs> Naturally, it's even hotter. Instead of being like cold, it's hotter. Okay, excellent. Very good, Jesenia. Let me see, Rafael. Hello there. How are you? Hi. Fine, thank you. A little tired. Really? Today, yeah. your day was really busy, I imagine. Yes, very busy. Yeah, but it's good that you're in class. Excellent. <laughs> Let Thank me you. see, Florence. Hello there, Florence. How are you? Hello, teacher. Do you hear me today? <laughs> yeah, I can hear you. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. I'm not <laughs> very tired because <laughs> it's hard uh, work, but it's okay. I yeah. feel very well in the class. That's great, excellent, very good. I like, I like to practice every day because it's very important to learn English. Mm -hmm, exactly. And I feel grateful because you are so uh, intelligent to us to try to learn so much as possible for us. And ah. thank you so much. You're welcome, honey. It's a pleasure, actually. I love teaching. That's why I'm doing it the way I'm doing it, because I love teaching and I try to get always new content to teach you. And I think it's pretty good that you want to learn. That's great. Excellent. Thank you, Florence. All right. So it's good that you're in class. Excellent. Let's go with Luis Mendoza. Hello there. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine, teacher. Excellent. Very good. It's good to see you in class. <laughs> Let me see, Diane. Hello there. Hello. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. Excellent. Very good. That's the mood. <laughs> you do look good. Let me see, Jessica. Hello there. How are you? Hello, teacher. Fine. Great, excellent, very good. It's good to see you in class. Let me see, Claudia Maria. There you are, Claudia. I was like Hello. asking me, why isn't she with the camera open? <laughs> but it's good to see you. <laughs> Hello, teacher. How are you, Claudia? Fine, I'm done. I'm with the uniform. You're wearing the uniform, it's true. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I, yes, um, I have uh, too much work. Um, I am a teacher too. 
Yay! <laughs> How do you say preparar in English? Getting ready. Getting uh, ready or prepared? Prepare. I prepare the class for my students and it's difficult. <laughs> yeah, it's difficult. Being a teacher isn't easy. It's not an easy job, but it's really no. beautiful. It's a really beautiful experience. Yes. Excellent. Yes. Very good. <laughs> Let's see, we have Crisia. How are you, Crisia? I'm good, thank you. Excellent. I, uh -huh. I love the way you look today. Thank you, thank you, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> Let me see, Farima, how are you? How was your day? Hi, I'm fine. I'm fine. I am waiting for the weekend because uh, the hard work and yeah, I, I need guess. vacation. You're right. Everyone needs vacation. Ex excellent. Very good. Oh, let me see. Karina, how are you, Karina? Are you waiting for vacations already? Uh, I'm fine. Uh, yes, uh, the first August 1st. Mm -hmm. my First is is my first day on vacation. On vacation. Hmm. I think your internet is. I'm fine. It, it was oh bad connection internet. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. But don't worry, don't worry. It's okay. We're gonna work with it. <laughs> Okay, okay. okay, let me see. Cesar, how are you, Cesar? I'm ready for class. Uh, good. Uh, yeah. Receive for, for a lot of information. Okay, so you're ready to receive a lot of information. Is that what you wanted to tell me? Yes. Excellent. There you go. Yeah, actually, we had pretty good content today. Actually, the today's topics. Uh, it's really amazing. It's really cool and a little bit easier to understand. Let me see, Fabiola. Hello, Fabiola. How was your day today? <laughs> Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I'm very happy because this day I have vacation. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am free. <laughs> That's great. So tomorrow you're not going to work either? No. Oh my gosh, now I, I feel like jealous. <laughs> that is good, excellent, Fabiola. Let me see Milagro. Hello, Milagro, how are you? We missed you yesterday. Hello, teacher. I fine, thank you. Uh, yesterday, I have problem with internet. Mm, I got you, I got you, honey. Internet, it's, it's, really, it's a really good tool, but sometimes, it's not working when we need it. <laughs> Excellent, Milagro. It's good to see you. Hello, Elvis. How are you, Elvis? Yes, fine, teacher. <laughs> ah, were you sleeping? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> you take a relax, take a nap before to begin the class. <laughs> ah, y después ahí soy yo, Elvis. Elvis, ah, you are sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> no, teacher, is the day was uh, very exhausting. Yeah, I got you. It was exhausting. Yeah, no. you're right. Okay, but hey, if you think about it, we're just about to finish the week. Actually, tomorrow is going to be our last class, not from the mm -hmm. <laughs> from the course, but our last class of the week. And then you go to vacation. Make sure to relax, everyone. Even though if you don't, don't go out because of COVID-19, it doesn't matter still. You can stay at home and do something relaxing for you. Okay, I excellent. <laughs> okay, let me see, Lisette. How are you? Lisette Velasco. Hi, teacher. I'm fine. And you? I'm great. I'm happy to see you. Thank you. Excellent. Very good. That's the attitude. Let's see. Claudia Cuellar. Hello there, Claudia. How are you? 
Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Excellent. Very good. Are you ready for today's class? Uh -huh. Are you? Um, I got you. You had a, bu a really busy day. Now you're like, <laughs> I got you. Don't worry. <laughs> well, it's good to see you in class. That's great. Let me see. We have Armando Antonio. Hello there. Uh -huh. Armando. Hello. Ah, yeah, you're Armando. I already talked to you. <laughs> es que me confundo. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, let's see, Jocelyn. Hello there, Jocelyn. How are you? Hello, teacher. I am fine. Thanks for asking. Very good. There you go. It's a pleasure. Okay. Now, everyone. So, as always, it's a pleasure to have you in today's class. We have pretty good content today. And let me share my PPT with you. So, there you go. Today is Wednesday, July 28th, 2021. We're still in the same section. Please. As a remind, I uh, just wanted to remind you that please, I need you to advance in the platform. We're still in section three. So you still, you're still on time to work on section three. Today is the last day that you can work on section three. And as an advice for you, remember that you can always advance more if you want, okay? That's not a problem at all. So we are still with the topic. What is your neighborhood like? That's the topic of the section, right? Then we have class number nine. Okay, so let's see. Yesterday we saw these questions, but I believe that it's really important that we try to remember or to recall content learned, all right? So we're going to answer these questions again. Let me see, I'm going to ask, Diane, Diane, please mention the demonstrative pronouns. I don't remember. Ah, now you see why it's important. The recalling previous learning. Let's see, Fabiola. This and that is singular and this and those is plural. Very good, Fabiola. Thank you. Excellent. Hey, everyone, just don't forget that if I got your information in here, you can copy. That's not a problem at all. You can copy everything if you want. And it's good for you because you have extra material, right? So let's see. Thank you, Fabiola. Let me see. No, and me. Which are the demonstrative pronouns that we use for singular choice? Singular choice. This and that. There you go. Excellent. Pretty good. What about Fatima Rivas? Mention the demonstrative pronouns used when talking in plural. This and those. Very good. Thank you. Now let's see. I'm gonna ask somebody else the same questions because I'm hoping I'm hoping that you are paying attention. Let me see. Claudia Cuellar, which are no mention the demonstrative pronouns, please. This, that, this, those. There you go. Excellent. Very good. Cesar. Which are the demonstrative pronouns that we use for singular choices? Singular choice demonstrative pronouns is this, that. Okay, excellent, very good. Now listen, Cesar, if I have two things, I need to add the verb to be are, okay? Instead of saying is, it's are. 
are. Excuse me, uh, are. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Yeah. I, I know that sometimes we forget about it. It's pretty much human things, but that's why I'm here to try to help. Right? Excellent, sir. Karina, mention the demonstrative pronouns used when talking in plural. In plural, this, and those, and those. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. All right, so let's move on. We have question number four. Let me see. Florence, mention one use that we have for one and one. It's used when we have at the end of the sentences mm -hmm. to replace at the end. Excellent, very good. Actually, it's true. Actually, you mentioned both uses. We use it at the end of a question or at the end of a sentence. And the other use that we have is to replace the pronoun. Excellent, very good, thank you. Thank Let you. me see, Luis Mendoza. Hey, you changed your name, Luis. <laughs> Luis Mendoza, in which part of the sentence or questions do we use one or ones? Ah, Florence already mentioned it, but let's see. Uh, when talking about uh, choosing. Okay, or... Uh -huh. um, more uh, that option, uh, options, one, one option. More than one option. Okay, yeah, that's good. But listen, do we use one or ones at the beginning of the sentence or question or at the end? The end. At the end. Okay, that's the correct answer. Thank you. Let me see, Rafael, we use is for? Which are the demonstrative pronouns that we use in which we use is? Uh -huh, Rafael? Sorry, I have a problem with my internet. Ah, yeah, I got you, I got you, don't worry. But still, uh, What was the question? Number six, we use is for? For when? Uh -huh. When? We use, uh -huh. yes, you're right, with one and also with which demonstrative pronouns? Um. This? Uh, this uh -huh. and, and that. Thanks. There you go. There you go. Very good. Thank you. Let me see, Patricia. We use R for? We use R for the, this and those. Okay, there you go. Very good. Thank you. Lisette, tell me one use that you have learned in which we can use one and ones. Lisette Velasco. Uh, when you use uh, ones, when you, it's plural. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Excellent, there you go, thank you. Okay, now let me see, I need to ask somebody else. Mauricio, in which part of the sentence or questions do we use one or ones? Listen carefully, in which part of the sentence? At the end of the sentence. Exactly, very good. In questions, and in sentences or only in questions or only in sentences? Uh, no, in questions, in questions. In questions and sentences, and both. Both, yes. Yeah, excellent, very good. I'm playing with your mind, everyone. No, just kidding. 
Let me see. Um, Sarceño Raúl. We use is for. This and that. This and that. Very good. Thank you. Ada Gabriela, we use R for. Hello, for the this and those. Excellent. There you go. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for your participation. So let's try to keep this information in mind. It's really useful when we are talking and also when we are making some exercises, right? All right, let's move on. Now, today we have a new topic. Um, actually, the new topic is using comparative adjectives, but before going into that topic, we are going to see this information. Now, listen, as a part of your platform, you have an exercise like this one, right? So what are these things made of? It says, identify each one. Use the words from the list. I'm going to ask Noemi, please read this vocabulary. Okay. Cotton, rubber, gold, silk, leather, silver, plastic, wool. There you go. Thank you, Noemi. Repeat after me. Leather. Leather. Leather, Next. leather. Excellent, very good, thank you. Now, I'm going to ask Milagro. Please, Milagro, repeat this vocabulary. Cotton, rubber, gold, silk, leather, silver, plastic, wool. There you go, excellent. Now listen everyone. I believe that maybe you already work on this, but we're going to work right now in this exercise, okay? Let me see if I can make this a little bit smaller. Smaller in here, okay? So you're going to work on this exercise right now. I'm gonna give you one minute around. And you're going to complete this. We're going to use this vocabulary, these materials, and you're going to complete this exercise. For example, number one, a plastic bracelet, right? Mm -hmm. There you go, very good. All right, work on it. If you have your notebook, you can copy on your notebook the vocabulary, and also you can complete the exercise on your notebook. Okay. Let me know when you're finished. Sure. Uh -huh. What is what is rubber in Spanish? Rubber. If you look up, oh, if you wanted like translation, rubber is ule. Ule. Uh -huh. Thanks. Wall teacher. Wall. 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 Fibra. Wall. Mm -hmm. Fibra. Okay. These are the materials that we use for these things. So you gotta look for them.
finish, teacher. Excellent. There you go. Thank you. Finish only vocabulary. Okay. Good. Remember that you gotta use this vocabulary. After you copy this vocabulary on your notebook, you gotta use it com to complete this exercise. All right. From one to eight. Uh -huh. Have you finished? Yes. Yes. Great. Yes, teacher. Yes. yes, teacher. Excellent. Finished. Good. Teacher, what does that mean, wool? Well, es fibra. Like that material, like when you create socks. All right, let's just start. So we have cotton, rubber, gold, silk, leather, Silver, plastic, wool. All right, now let's see. Number one, it says a plastic bracelet. Number two, Mauricio. A gold silver, a, a, I'm sorry, a gold ring. Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good, there you go. Number three, let me see. René Samuel, excellent. A silk tie. Okay, excellent, very good, a silk tie. Now listen, in here, <laughs> I don't know about you, but I, I, I thought that socks were made of, uh, of who, oh yeah, I got, I got you already the answer. <laughs> All right, let's see, you were right, Samuel. A silk tie. Let's go with number four, Florence. A uh, wool socks. Mm -hmm. Or wool socks. You don't need the, the indefinite articles, okay? You don't need the ah. Uh. Okay, thank you. Very good, you're welcome. Let's see, Luis Alonso. Number five. Uh, a leather jacket. Mm -hmm. There you go, excellent. Number six, Jenny Lisette. Uh, a cotton shirt. Excellent, there you go, a cotton shirt. Let me see, Walter, number seven. Uh, silver earrings. Earrings, very good. Silver earrings. Okay, let me see. Now listen, in number seven, you don't need the indefinite article, right? You just have to say silver earrings. Then we have number eight, Harrison. Um, rubber boots. Yes, actually it is. Very good. All right, everyone. So 
This exercise is going to be useful for you, not only because of the vocabulary that you're acquiring, but also because you are working on it. And we, when you write and when you speak, it's a good way to learn English. Both are good ways to learn English. All right, so let's move on. We have using comparatives. I love comparatives. <laughs> so we have preferences, comparisons with adjectives. I'm going to need your help, everyone. Let me see. Let's start with Elsie de Carvalho. Can you please read question number one? Only the question. Ah, ahorita voy. Okay. La primera pregunta. Mm -hmm. Only the first question. Which one do you prefer? Okay, thank you. Repeat after me, Elsie. Prefer. Ajá. Repeat after ¿Cómo? me. Prefer. Perfect. Mm -hmm. All right. Perfect. 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 Prefer. Right? Thank you. Let me see Andrea Sosa, please. Continue. Uh, that, that one, one is uh -huh. that one is cheaper than the wool one. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, let's move on. Let's go under. Let me see, Rafael. Continue. I Do I have Rafael in here? No, he's not. Let me see. Mauricio, please continue. I? I prefer the letter one. Mm -hmm. Milagro, continue next to it. This? This one is nicer than... Excellent, very oh. good. Uh -huh. Excellent. Very good. Continue, Patricia, with the question. Which one do you like better or which one do you like more? Excellent. Continue, Diane. The leather jacket is pretty good. Excellent. Prettier than? Very good. Thank you. Continue, Claudia Cuellar. I I like the little one better. I like the little one more. Very good, thank you. Continue, Caesar. It it looks bigger than it's more styling than. Excellent, very good. All right, everyone. So if you notice, basically. Well, we have a part in here which it says spelling. Let me see, I'm gonna ask Luis Alonso, please. Tell me the spelling in here. The vocabulary from uh, spelling. Cheap, cheaper, mm -hmm. nice, nicer, pretty, uh, prettier, big, bigger. Excellent, very good, there you go. Lisette, your turn. Sorry, teacher. The spelling, please. Cheap, cheaper. Oh. Cheap, cheaper. Nice, nicer. Pretty, prettier. 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 Big, bigger. There you go. Thank you. Let me see. Farima, your turn. Cheap, cheaper. Nice, nicer, pretty, prettier, big, bigger. There you go. Very good. Elvis, your turn. Cheap, cheaper, nice, nicer, pretty, prettier, big, bigger. Okay, thank you. Repeat after me. Pretty? 
Pretty? Pretty? Pretty. Prettier. Prettier. Mm -hmm. Prettier. Okay. Good. Crisia, your turn. Spelling. Cheap, cheaper, nice, nicer, pretty, prettier, big, bigger. There you go. Excellent. And last but not least, let me see, Rene Samuel. Yes. The spelling part, please, the vocabulary. Cheap, cheaper. Me voy a señalar que no. Yeah, I have, and let me see. I got you. This in here. Okay, there you go. This part. Ship, cheaper. Nice. Nicer, pretty, prettier, big, bigger. Thank you. Repeat after me. Prettier. 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 Okay. Thank you. Very good. All right, everyone. So there you go. This is like basic vocabulary, but I have prepared more vocabulary for you to practice. Okay. But let's move on to this part. Let's see. Notice. Let's see. I'm going to have, Noemi, please. Read the information in the purple chart. Okay. To express preferences in English, you may say, I prefer, I like. Excellent. Very good. We also have another way like, I rather. All right. So we have that one also. But in this case, the one that... We can, we can find in platform I, R, I prefer or I like. Okay, now let's see, Karina, tell me the information of this chart, please. When we want to compare, we use the adjective in its comparative form. Uh -huh. Adjective must. Plus? E and plus E R mm, plus Dan. Excellent, very good. All right, everyone, copy this information on your notebooks, please. Finish. Excellent. Thank you. Finished. Good. So let's see, I'm going to ask, let me see. Cesar, which words do I use if I want to express my preferences? Express my preference, I prefer or I like. Excellent, there you go, very good. 
So what's the structure, Noemi, that we have when using comparison? Adjective plus er the plus them. Then excellent. Uh, uh -huh. But it depends the adjective, right? Yeah, actually, yeah, because we have adjectives that we can use more before the adjective instead of adding er. It depends on how many syllables the adjective has. Mm, I have some, actually, I, some, I have some information in there that explains when are we going to use those kind of adjectives. Very good. Excellent. So there you have it, everyone. This is like the basic structure that we have, but as your friend already mentioned, we can have something extra. All right. So let's move on. We have comparison. So basically, this is like the correct way to make some comparisons. If we have a small, I don't know why this happened. Okay. If I have a small, when I'm comparing something, I use a smaller than, all right? That's like, basic and that's legit. You cannot change that in this case. But we're going to see in which kind of additives do we use that is structure. That is structure. Okay, so we have this guiding examples. As I have two, these examples. Okay. Can you please read the first one, Claudia Maria? Your backpack is Smaller than mine. Excellent. There you go. I'm comparing her backpack or his backpack with mine. Milagro, can you please read number two? My cell phone is cheap, cheaper than yours. Than yours. Excellent. Very good. Then we have another comparison. I'm comparing my cell phone with yours. Right, excellent. It's cheaper. It's cheaper. Okay, so there you go. If you want to copy this, you can copy this. If not, I have more examples. Because I see some of you are, are copying and it's okay. You can do that. You can take notes. But what is mean backpack? Ah, backpack. Let me see, do you see this in here? I don't know if you can see it. That's the backpack. The one that we use in our back. Okay, excellent. I always have my backpack next to me. <laughs> I don't know when I'm going to use something from my backpack. All right, everyone, let's move. So for tomorrow, I'm going to have extra information about this. But right now, this is all we have, <laughs> okay? So let me see. I'm going to have Florence. Can you please read the first dot? We use air for short words, one syllable. Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good. Then you have these examples, for example, these examples, for example, <laughs> you have a small, smaller, cheap, cheaper, large, larger. Listen to the difference between the pronunciation. Large, larger, hot, hotter. Now, I don't know if you listen to me at the beginning of the class, when I say today is hotter than yesterday, right? I was using one comparison. Then we have the second dot. Let me see, I'm gonna ask Elvis Abrego. Can you please read? Which, which? The dish? second dot. Uh, we also. No. Ah, okay. We also use R for two. Sailor words that end in jade. 
Uh, J. Ayer. Mm -hmm. You can Lock change. Uh -huh. Look here. Early, earlier. Happy, happier. Easy, easier. Excellent. Thank you. Now let's try our pronunciation. Let's see how do we pronounce this vocabulary. I'm going to have Jessica Elizabeth. Please read the first four adjectives that we have. Small, large, cheap, hot. In comparison. A small, a small, cheap, cheaper, large, larger, hot, hot. Okay, thank you. Repeat after me. A smaller. A smaller. A smaller. A smaller. There you go. Thank you. Let's see, Claudia Cuellar, your turn. The first four adjectives that we have. Small, large, cheap, hot. But with its comparisons. Teacher, I... I don't. Um. You don't see the, the, the screen? Or you don't listen to me? You can't. I don't listen. Oh, you're not listening. All right. Yeah, I don't know why. Maybe because of the internet. We're going to use somebody else. Andrea Sosa. Thank you, Claudia. Andrea Sosa. Please, the first. The First four adjectives that we have. Hmm. Andrea Sosa, you are not here. Let's see, Diane, help me, please. A small, a smaller, cheap, cheaper, large, larger, hot, e hotter. There you go. Thank you. Fabiola, tell me the last four adjectives that we have. The instruction or example? The examples. Lucky, lucky. Happy, happier. Early, earlier. Easy, easier. There you go. Thank you. Mauricio, your turn to practice with the adjectives. Yeah. Uh, small, smaller, or this, or the, or the last, the last. Hello. Okay. Uh, lucky, luckier, happy, happier, early, earlier, easy, easier. There you go. Thank you, Patricia. Your turn. Uh, which one? The, the last. The last. The last four that we have. Okay. Lucky, luckier. Happy, happier, early, earlier, easy, easier. There you go, very much. Thank you very much. Milagro, your turn. Lucky, luckier, happy, happier, early, earlier, easy, easier. There you go, thank you. Let's see, Crisia, your turn. The first, a small, a smaller, large, larger, cheap, cheaper, hot, hotter. Thank you. Luis Alonso, the last four that we have in here. Um, lucky, luckier, happy, happier, early, earlier, easy, easier. There you go. If you want everyone, you can copy these uh, grammatical rules on your notebooks. And tomorrow I'm going to bring more information about it because this topic is really cool. We need to learn how to use it. And we have more information about it. Let uh, me know. Uh-huh. In the uh, adjective hot, uh, in correct hot, hotter uh, with doubly, doubly T. Uh huh. Hotter. 
is correct. Double, double, double T. Double T, yes. Yes, you need to add the, the double T, harder. Okay. All right, very good, everyone. So there you go, we have practice time. Now is your time to practice, my dear students, okay? So you already have some other comparatives and now let's check if we know how to use them. Let me see. I'm going to ask Cesar, please read the instructions. Instructions, one, work individually to creep up list to sentences using the comparison adjectives. Three, you see any adjectives that you want. Thank you, there you go, everyone. So you can use any adjectives that you want, but please, you are going to create two sentences, okay? Here we go, it's your time. On your notebooks, please complete this. Create your sentences. Even if we don't pass today, believe me, we're going to pass tomorrow. Finish, teacher. Excellent, very good. Finish. Excellent, very good. Okay, finish sentence. There you go, excellent, okay. The other ones, hurry up, hurry up. Finish teacher. Excellent, there you go. Okay, so I think we may start with some of you right now. Let's see, we're going to start with Patricia. Tell me only one sentence. Okay. Honduras is bigger than El Salvador. Excellent. Very good. That's great. Excellent. Let me see. Cesar, tell me one. The water is cheaper than a coffee. Yeah, you're right. A bottle of water is cheaper than coffee. Excellent. Let me see. Karina Jimenez. 
My sister is taller than me. Mm -hmm. Good. Mauricio? This homework is easier than the others. Excellent, very good. Is it true, Mauricio? It's easier. Um, <laughs> okay, excellent, very good. Now, me, your turn. Korea is farther than Guatemala. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yes, indeed. Andrea Sosa? Uh, I prefer the beach more than the mountain. Mm -hmm. I prefer the beach more than uh -huh. the mountain. Yeah. Now, listen, uh -huh. there, you're not using a comparison. Yes, you're using the word than. But you're not like using a comparison with the structure ER or I. Uh, uh, the other, my brother is taller than me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one is good. Excellent. Yeah. Very good. Thank you, Andreita. Fabiola? Yes, the way is taller than yesterday. Yes, indeed. Herson? My brother is smarter than me. <laughs> Don't say that. Everyone is smart. Okay, excellent. Let me see. Rene Samuel? Yes. Your sentence. Cars are safe than motorcycles. Okay. Cars are safe. No se pronuncia motocicletas. Ah, motorcycles. Thank you. There you go. All right. Let me see the last one. Mm -hmm. Walter? My sister is older than me. There you go, excellent. All right, everyone. So the ones that didn't pass today, maybe you're going to pass tomorrow, don't worry about it. Everyone is going to participate. But I want to explain this before leaving the class. So we have simple present. Now listen, in here we have like extra rules, for example, maybe you already know this, but we use the present simple to talk about habits or regular activities and situations. And there you have an example. Let me see. Cesar, can you please read the example? Paul gets up at 5.30 every day. There you go, okay. So it says that we can use it for regular activities. For example, my sister wakes up at 10 a.m. every day. That's a regular that's actually a habit that you have. And what it could be one regular activity. For example, I exercise every day. That's a regular activity. One. Okay. Okay, now let's move on. We oh. have another one. Huh? Okay, let's move on. We have another one. Facts and attitudes that are generally or always true. Facts, hechos, verdad? Facts or attitudes that are generally or always true. For example, let's see. Patricia, can you please read this sentence? Nurses don't have an easy life. Yes, exactly. That's a fact, right? Nurses don't have an easy life. That's a fact. You cannot lie with that because it's true, okay? This is, these are some like extra rules that we have for simple present. And you can have them on your notebook if you want, you can copy this, all right? And I have other rules.
And then we have this one. Let me see if I can do this, if I can move this in here, because I can't read. Okay, let's see. Can you please help me, Noemi? Simple present with verbs that end in O, C, H, S, H, or S, S, go, catch, watch, wash, kiss, etc. We are E, S in the third person singular. Okay, there you go. This was actually part of the, of the platform, so I won't stay that longer in this part. This is like, uh, like a staple, but we have this other one. Let me see. Karina Jimenez, can you please read the second rule that we have in here? With some verbs that end in Y, mm -hmm. cry, fly, hurry, try, etc. Uh -huh. The Y changes to yes mm -hmm. in, in the third person singular. Excellent. Very good. So there you go. We're going to change the Y for I, E, S in third person singular. I cannot say I cry every day. No. This rule applies only in third person singular. All right. You have some verbs in there, and I also have some example and some examples for you to see. Right. Let's move on. Let's see. No, no, if you don't copy this, don't worry. I'm gonna send it today. Okay, today I will send the PPT in the group. All right. So we have in this, we have this in here. Florence, please read the first sentence. The baby cries when it's hungry. Excellent, there you go. The third person is the baby, right? Okay, that's when we use Christ. We change the Y for I E S, Christ. Let's see the second sentence. Mauricio, please. He flies to Canada every year. Excellent, very good. My third person singular once again is he, okay? And we're talking in present. We're just changing the form of the verb. Fabiola, the third one. Anna hurries every day to catch the bus. <laughs> yeah, every Salvadorian, right? We hurry to catch oh, the yeah, bus. To catch the bus. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hurry. Every day, hurry to catch the bus. Catch. Yes. Yes, indeed. Okay. So, catch, Agarra. atrapar, atrapar, agarrar, tomar. We have a lot of synonyms for that. Okay. And then we have. Ya atrapó, ya agarró. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Catch, you, for example, you say, you catch, catch, you have your microphone open. There you go. Yo, bien creída, aquí sí, así es. <laughs> I told with my, sorry, I told with my, my baby. I, oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Let's move on to the last one. Diane, please help me with the last one. Although. Although Maria is not a good student, she try she, she tries to get good grades. Excellent. There you go. Okay. Maria is my third person singular, so I'm going to change also she. So I'm going to change the verb try with Y for tries with I, E, S. All righty, y'all. This was basically it for today's class.
thank you so much for attending to our class. Yeah, I spent a little bit more than the time that we used that we were supposed to be in here, but it was a pleasure to be with you in class. All right. Goodbye. Bye, Take care. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so Bye, much. Teacher. Bye. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye, Bye. 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 Take care. Teacher. Yes. I have a question. Tell me your question. Um, cuando se utiliza el, el, la manera más simple de decir más, ya no tengo que decir very, ¿verdad? Ni more. No, ya no la necesita. Hay algunos comparisons, algunos comparatives que sí los necesitan, otros que no. Okay. Uh -huh. All right, excellent. You're welcome. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.